So good morning, welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, I'm standing on a start line, or I will be tomorrow. I've flown out to Albania. I'm here in Barat for the Barat Half Marathon. Kush is just over here. My Albanian friend, he told me about this race and I thought, why not? I'm not doing anything this weekend. So I've uh, flown out to I see this chat. No Met this dude in uh, Kenya. <laughs> And uh, now we're in Albania, so yeah, everything has sort of come from that one trip to, to Kenya last March. Was, was it yeah, March? Yeah, it was in March. Yeah, and um, yeah, we now do little trips like this uh, around the world apparently. So yeah, this is the start line. It's now 12 o'clock the day before the race, so we're just going to find somewhere to eat. Uh, well, I am anyway. Kush is on uh, Ramadan, so he can't uh, eat until 7.08. Uh, we've got a pasta party tonight, some live music. We just went and met the mayor of Barat and did some media stuff, which was, yeah, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and we also planted a tree because it's part of a green initiative for the city. So, yeah, going to be a nice little weekend away here in Albania in this beautiful little uh, town of Barat. The city of Barat, should I say. So here's a look at the town of Barat. Beautiful little place. These are known as the thousand windows because they all have these traditional windows that look like they sort of stack on top of each other. And then we have the castle up here, which apparently in last year's race, they ran all the way up to the castle in like the third kilometer. Um, but after reviewing the course last year and apparently trying to att attract a bit more of an international field, they decided to, to take out that hill, which I'm quite glad because there was 75 meters of elevation in one kilometer. So yeah, that would have harpered any chances of running anything quick, but um, yeah, beautiful little city. Um, wouldn't have come here had I not known about the race. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy some sunshine while I can and um, yeah, show you around the place. Where are you taking me? <laughs> wow, I can only just about fit through here. Check out the view. Beautiful. Got the river, the mountains, the old town. Over 2,400 years old apparently. So yeah, one of the oldest cities in Albania. Beautiful place, eh? Shame we can't go up any higher I've though. I've been here before, even though I'm Albanian. Yeah. It's great. And there's the finish line just down there as well. So here we are, We've climbed up to the top, the castle of Berat. There's Kush up there. Oh, that was hard work. Day before a race, the last thing you want to be doing is climbing up one heck of a hill, but hopefully the views will be worth it. Let's find out. Don't jump. So we just went on a tour of the course. The organizers and one of the sponsors wanted to take us on a little drive to show us the course tomorrow so that we have a rough idea of where we're going, which is pretty cool. I think it's also criteria for some sort of like ranking system that they have to show the athletes uh, the course before the race. So it was a, le a legality as well, but that's really cool. Course looks really good. There's a little bit of undulation in like the sort of 15, 16 kilometer mark. Um, point on the course but other than that it's completely flat and it looks like it's going to be quite fast so yeah looking forward to it I'm just going to go out now for a little shakeout run with a couple of the other guys that are racing uh, the 10k or the half marathon tomorrow and then we're going to have some pasta at the pasta party this evening so yeah really nice day exploring uh, Berat really nice place very rich in culture and we walked all the way up to the top of the castle, which I kind of regret doing a little bit now on ra uh, the day before a race because I feel pretty knackered now. But I'm sure with the night's sleep and some pasta in me, I'll be good to go tomorrow. But yeah, going to take the little camera out with me and go for a little shake-up run. Hello, guys. When we used to be in love and we thought that nothing, nothing could There we go, we just finished the shakeout run. We did about five or six kilometers and six strides. I always do six, six is my lucky number. 
Um, so that's just like a pre-race superstition. And my last stride is always longer than any of the other strides. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. Um, but they're just getting set up now for the pasta party behind me. So I'm gonna go get changed and get ready for that. But I just wanna say a big thank you uh, to the organizers of the Barrett Green Half. Um, they've paid for my hotel, um, my transport from the airport to this race um, and have been really welcoming today. So yeah, a real nice event. Um, I think it's only their second year they've been doing it. So yeah, special thanks for inviting me and I'm looking forward to the to the race tomorrow. The next day. Good morning. It is the day of the half marathon race. I've just been down to breakfast, had some sort of porridge cereal um, and a coffee. Had a shit, which is always important, and I'm just about to get my race kit on, which I've got laid out on the floor over here. Um, it's going to be a little bit warmer than I would have liked, about 20 degrees when the race starts, but I'm sure that'll be okay. It's just a training run effort after all. Ideally, we'd like it a little bit cooler if we're going for a PB, but yeah, going for a nice thin saw singlet. Um, got some Oakleys, uh, Coros heart rate monitor so you get some good data. Um, and then we've got some shoe socks, the Puma Fast R2s, and some A6 um, split shorts. So yeah. That's all the kit sorted. I'm just going to get changed, do my final bits of preparation. The race starts here at 9.15 and it's currently 7.51. Um, so yeah, I've got about 20 minutes before I like to start my warm up and then uh, yeah, head down to the start line. I'm not sure how much I'll, footage I'll get from today's race because um, I don't know anyone in Albania. Surprise, apart from Kush and a few friends that are racing. Um, so there will be limited race footage but should be a good last training one before Copenhagen. So yeah, just gonna get changed and then we'll get down to the start line. Ooh, 19k into the race, currently in third place. Don't think I've got any chance of catching the guys up the road. And I'm blowing really hard. Beautiful course. Check it out. There's some four minutes of pain to go. Here we go. Last 200 meters. Thank you. everyone from Barat, the organizers, they did a great job. Uh, my mom and dad still on the podium. And of course my beautiful friend, uh, Albanian friend, Kush. So I just got back to the hotel after the race. Here's my medal and my ridiculous check for coming in third place. Uh, 300 euros, not bad. That will pay for my flights over here. Um, but yeah, the race was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, in terms of how I actually ran it, it was probably not the best. Um, I ran the first 5k with the front guys. I think we ran like 15.50 for the first 5k. And then after that, I, I was like, wow, the, the heat is really getting to me. It was about 22 degrees and we were in the direct sunlight the whole race. So um, I looked at my watch and my heart rate was like 80, 182, which for me is really high. Um, so I backed off the group and just uh, sort of uh, relaxed into sort of third position. And then I didn't really see anyone after the sort of 6k point. I was just running on my own. 
um, a few people out on the course, which is nice. A few uh, schools are out there. And yeah, one of the most beautiful half marathon races I've done. Did get a little bit tough in the, at the 15 kilometer point. There's a few little uh, um, hills undulation. Um, but yeah, managed to come in, th in through the finish line in third place. I think I ran 71.20 uh, for, for third. The guy who won it, Nico from Italy, he ran 67 minutes. And then there was a Greek guy in second, uh, he ran 68 minutes. So yeah, they went on to run, run some pretty quick, quick times on that course. Um, and I also picked up this trophy, which I will be able to get in my suitcase. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that massive check. That definitely won't fit. And Ryan will probably end up charging me like an extra uh, 60 euros to get that home. So I think that's going to have to stay in Albania. But I've had a really nice weekend. Big thanks to my buddy Kush for inviting me out here. I've had a great weekend. And of course the organisers. And they've just looked after us really well. Both me and Kush this whole weekend. So yeah, big thanks to the organisers. And hopefully we'll come back another year. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out a beautiful city in Albania, then I'd highly recommend uh, Berat. Nice castle, lots of hist history here. Uh, you've got the river that runs through the city, so it's super picturesque. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, and until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire.